Hi, my crafties. It's Tree. I hope you're having a getting crafty day. I'm here with a project share for In Love Arts. I want to thank In Love Arts for allowing me to showcase their products on my channel. I really love working with them. They are very reputable. Um, their products are very good quality and they come very quickly and well padded and protected. So um, I also have a discount code. It is TreeCraftOn. You get 25% off and their website is here. That said, all the products that they are I'm showing here today as well as all the information here will be listed in the description box below so be sure to check that out take advantage of that coupon code and I hope you like what I have created first up is this die here it is called 3d cute rabbit carrot hat box and I'm telling you it is cute I'm gonna move this over here and get rid of some glare hmm. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, the carrot. Hold on. Okay. So these are the carrot. Oops. There we go. The carrots, they're really cute. And I just haven't figured out how to incorporate them in this project, but I will, hopefully. So um, here's the bunny, and I decided to do him as a boy. He comes with a little scarf and a hat. I did cut out a little tiny carrot. Um, <laughs> It is just um, a hand cut and then uh, three little circles to make the carrot greens. <laughs> um, and it has this cute little detail here on the um, layering piece. And then I decided to do the other side as a girl bunny. This little bow came from sweet little Angelica over at Crafters Treats 2017. Um, so really cute little basket and it goes like that. So cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one over. Well, it's kind of hard to lay down because of the I put scarfs on either side. And the next one is this one, and it's lovely bunny decor box. Um, you get the little bow and the bunny. This one shows up better, but oh, isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it. So um, it comes with the bunny box and the bow. And then um, I just went into my scan and cut. Thank you, Kathy, <laughs> for reminding me that I had these little pieces in here from another project. And um, I learned from Susan over at, um, it used to be Susan Tootsie Tucker, um, I think it's Crafty Adventures or something like that now, that you can put glue around the edge of the, the little pink um, bunny ears and then they will actually stay in their little holes. Now I will say that one of these bunny ears is either bigger or smaller than the other one and I cut four of a, eight of them so I might have gotten them all confused or this one I might have rolled back and forth and um, I guess I couldn't find one to fit in here but you can see it's still very well glued in there um, you just fold up the sides and Susan has a really good tutorial on it um, I put the little bow in there and then this is a little aluminum rose and I just added some um, gel dots to their eyes and I made a little girl one and you can kind of see her little face and all that decoration but she has a pink bow and the decoration. So really cute. I think you could put a good candy in there. And then um, we've got the rainbow die. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Look at that. So one thing it does not do is it does not cut out around the whole side. But they are pretty decent, you know, shaped. So you could line it up and um, I just hand cut it. So... Leave that over there. Um, I thought I had another one. Hmm. So um, what I did was I uh, ran it through using my embossing impress embossing impression impression embossing whatever. It's a hard plate and then a a rubber mat, and so then your die won't cut through. It just kind of squishes in. And I used my Koi watercolors to color each one in kind of rainbow 
shade, you know, the Rogi Bib. And um, this is a happy birthday die that I got from the Crafters Companion advent calendar uh, when I opened that up with you guys. And this is a Maggie Holmes um, parasol. So I thought it turned out really cute. I love the script on that. But I love this die. And with the, it cuts out these um, arches, solid ones. So I just put it on this paper. I was going to just cut around it, but then I liked it so much. I just added that and some little ephemera from the parasol collection. And then next up is this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous butterfly die. I love it. It's so pretty. And it turns out so cute. And that's what it is. Now what I did, um, because I wanted to be able to see it back here, um, I went ahead and I put this down and I traced on the gold the butterfly part wing. And then I flipped it over and traced the other side and then just laid that down and then glued this on. Now what I was finding is that this is a little flimsy. So um, I just cut a separate second piece and put it underneath so that um, I was getting um, some folding creasing on this. It was getting caught on things and stuff. So um, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. And this is a happy birthday die from um, Sweet Ebony gifted me that. So thank you, Ebony. And then next up is this, um, oh, that one was called, well, the rainbow one was called Rainbow. And then this one is 3D Butterfly. And this one is the um, Love Chocolate. And there are eight dies and I'm missing a heart it does not have that other heart in there, but it still says love you, but the word you is spelled out, not the letter. It's here. If you could see the rest of my creative area, you would know why. I don't know where it is right now, but it is here. So, um, I used that birthday die from Ebony, and um, I cut out a gold because my favorite colors to craft with are pink, white, and gold. So it worked out really well. <laughs> um, I did a chocolate, white chocolate, and we've got to have some pink candies in there. I mean, come on. And then I took one of these that I had cut in white, and I added um, Stickles Diamond Glitter on there. And then I actually used a black pen to write on it. And sometimes, like right up there, it looks black, but when you pull it down here like this, it almost looks gold. So um, the bow, I just, um, I cut out the bow, and then I cut it out in the pink, and then, you know, it has that, I've showed you this before, where there's that line out there, and I just cut around the line to get the pink. Um, I outlined these with the white jelly roll pen, except for this one, I put it in black because it's in the center. So there's that one. And oh, no, this one. Uh, I love these. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'll get them in color. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Well, um, it's so cute. It is the dye and it has the bunny ears and you get the bunny centers and um that bunny ear has oh, i wish i had done it on solid here this one might be easier to see there you go the bunny ear has this little like headband part and then it cuts out the happy each little individual letter and the e is separate the e a s t e is one and then the giant r is one and it comes with these three different two two or three different eggs, I think three. And I just put them on little rectangles and decided that they could be little place cards or um, you could write the person's name on the back 
or a uh, back topper, topper. So I did one with the Easter in pink, the Easter in blue, and I do have two of these in yellow, but I'm thinking that one is wherever the die set is. So I don't have the die set to show you, but it is in my unboxing and it's really cute and it's really sweet and oh, I love it. And I will find it, it's, it is here. And last but not least, I tell you, I was busy, is this um, rabbit. This is rabbit decor. I already said rabbit decor. Anyway, it's a bow with the rabbit and it has the feet and everything in there. And this is what I made. I think I showed you these guys on um, another video. But really cute. Um, these are the pom-pom tails, and then this one is the regular tail that came with it. So, really cute. And I've seen them where they have the, the body behind. So, I think if I did that, I would uh, cut out a larger circle, or a scallop circle, that's bigger, and put it back here in the ears, and then put the feet in the whatever. <laughs> Maybe the feet could go in between, I don't know, but those feet are adorable as cute as can be so that was that was seven die sets <laughs> so yeah um, that was that was a handful but I hope that you like my creations and if you have not already please subscribe and like and ring that bell and leave a friendly comment below and I will catch you in my next video until then God bless you and yours bye for now